Hey guys, Pablo here, and welcome to a brand new video in which we'll talk about Super Protocol. Now we have seen a lot of SAFU forks in the past, and um, this you may think it is a SAFU fork, and on some levels you may call it a SAFU fork, but not exactly because uh, they developed the CA entirely from scratch, and you'll notice the difference clearly in this. Uh, we have the auto staking and auto compounding protocols with up to 460,000 person APY, which you can tell is pretty insane. But uh, in terms of security, in terms of uh, this being a new uh, project um, that is made entirely from scratch and not just copied and running it on a different name, um, they uh, get have themselves doxxed, uh, they pass the KYC, has been audited, so we have so much more and we also have utilities in this which makes this project different and stand out from those other SAFU forks and this is what we'll be looking at in detail in this video covering all of the all of the functions the mechanisms the security features uh, the benefits that we'll be getting the rewards all those things will be covered entirely in this video so make sure that you watch till the end and i'll provide you guys with all the links that you will require so it'll be in the description so yeah anyways uh, do know that this is not an investment or a financial advice. I don't give financial advice. So always do your own investigation and research before getting in, into any project. Now with this being said, let's get straight to the project. Now here we are at the official website of Super Protocol. We have learned a little bit about this in the intro and I know you, you guys might be confusing this with those other sample forks that we have been reviewing, that we have been studying from time to time. But let me assure you this for now in the start so that we can, you know, clear things up even from the start. This is not a sample fork. The concept is similar, but it is created completely from scratch they developed the ca uh, completely from scratch which does I mean doesn't really technically make this a safu fork because forking is basically copying the whole concept copying entire codes and stuff and just running it on a different name or in crypto we have seen that if there's a successful project running on one network they just copy it completely and run it on a different network so that's basically called forking it's not forking when you are developing the CA entirely from scratch. So it is not a SAFU fork and we have other benefits, other perks and other security layers, which you'll, you'll notice that they are different from the previous projects. And in terms of APY, in terms of annual interest, you will notice that it is more than double uh, what we were getting before. So it offers us an APY of more than 460,000% which is super, super insane. And we will study, you know, more about this, how they are able to reach this and um, what this exactly means for us. So we'll be covering all that part. It is on the Binance Smart Chain Network. We get the features of protocols of auto staking and auto compounding. Uh, and the difference is in this one, unlike before, we have use cases. So it says super control uh, protocol is a low risk high reward and the best faucet in auto staking auto compounding onboarding system now this is the part that we usually miss in in other projects in other auto staking and auto compounding projects is that we don't really have a lot of security layers we don't really have it's basically our high risk how they are able to make this a low risk which is which comes in two different parts. One is about their coding the protocol, how they are managing this whole thing. And the other thing is if this whole project is secure or not. So to ensure that the project is safe, the project is legitimate, we have the team doxxed completely and they have passed the KYC and they have, you know, they also have been audited. So these are the three things that they have confirmed to ensure that the project is safe. So now that we know the project is safe, uh, if you come to the documents, here we can learn how they are managing this whole thing. So they their auto stake feature basically uh, it uses the function called buy, hold, and earn mechanism, which we have talked about a lot of the times before. So it's not something entirely new for us. Uh, it says by simply buying and holding super token in your wallet, you earn rebase rewards as interest payments directly in your wallet. Your tokens will increase every ten minutes. So uh, if we if we you know compare this, uh, usually we get paid rewards hourly or we have seen them getting paid 30 minutes but this is not one hour not 30 minutes not 40 not 15 minutes it's actually just 10 minutes that is six times an hour and that is almost 144 times in a day 
that which you can see is is really insane so it says uh, it has original utilities super is a bp20 token with an elastic supply we have learned this before what an elastic supply is basically you know elastic is basically something you can stretch out in or out you can either increase it or reduce this so the, the supply is elastic which is really important if you want the you know the rebase mechanism rebasing is basically you set a limit that whether like when i create a token i want this price to stay at one dollar so what i will do with this uh is that when the price is increased so that i have like sufficient amount uh in you know the price and i want to bring it lower what i'll do is i'll increase the supply and increasing the supply lowers the uh the value and if the value drops if it goes down i do the opposite i reduce the supply and it increases the uh, value so in that manner we basically manage to you know uh, keep it at one person now what positive rebase formula is positive rebase is is a is a condition when you have uh, the value higher than the set value so through that they are able to you know perform this thing the super protocol is one that a focus is on DeFi innovation aimed at sharing value for all super holders by holding and staking. The combination of holding and staking all provide all holders with one of the highest fixed APY, creating the potential for generational wealth. Uh, they said that they will have a 14% buy tax and 16% selling tax to provide the best APY and marketing. Now, we're going to discuss how is this distributed, but having a lower buying tax and a higher selling tax is it does uh, act as a anti-dump function now uh, we have a part that goes to the treasury and that is four person that goes to the treasury wallet and this is how this is where you know they use this to invest in other areas and the difference is they have implemented a down structure on the in this in this particular i would say area in which holders vote on where they want to use the treasury wallet so I think that's pretty insane. It's like you're giving holders the steering wheel of the of the project. And then we have automatic burn. Two person will be burned in auto burn. Two person of every transaction is taken out of the circulation, which not only it maintains stability, it increases the value. And then we, are, we have liquidity acquisition so that they don't have to entirely rely on people staking and providing liquidity. 5% of the fees return to the liquidity, which increases the collateral value, which brings stability to the project, to the tokens, and it creates an increasing price floor. And then there is 5% fee that is directed for to the RFV, risk-free value, which supports the liquidity pool, and which is how they are able to sustain the rebase formula. Now they have anti will and they also have anti bot mechanism and we already have discussed that they also have like um, an anti dump mayor in a sense. It says to prevent whales from destroying the sustainability of our token, we have added a whale tax, which will apply if your holdings are more than a certain percentage of our total supply, uh, actual person amount to be determined. So they will be basically uh, determining an amount, let's say 1%, uh, if one person is holding more than one person of the supply that's considered a real account so that that still has to be determined we will uh, all we also will take organized anti-bot measures to launch to make sure the project is a success now multi-chain this is something again this is one of another things that we have not seen before in one of those safu forks uh one of the things that we, d we usually don't say is uh, the team docs, uh, the pro, you know, they pass in the KYC, they're getting audited. Uh, use cases are always lacking in those projects. So uh, you already can see it tops those projects already and it is completely made from scratch, which I think, which I think makes it more legitimate. They say expanding to a multi-chain protocol will be the goal of the super protocol with the aim of being the first Safa fork on the Ethereum blockchain. So currently, uh, as you already have discussed in the top, uh, it is on the BSC with, uh, along with addition to unique use cases. Now, it is going to be, I think, probably the first Safa fork or first Safa fork that is actually completely new uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. With our long-term goal of building a multi-chain swap and D app, you will be able to purchase Super on every EVM compatible blockchain possible, uh, which I think opens up a whole, I would say, area of, of of potential. So I think that's pretty insane, and they're not just going to get you know keep themselves confined to uh, just EVM compatible blockchains. They will be expanding it further to non-EVM compatible blockchains, which is their you know future goal. As a result, marketing is not only focused on Binance margin, 
but also on the other chain so that we are able to generate hype across all chains reaching the maximum amount of you know uh, potential investors and investors now here they explain how does this whole thing works um so in sustainability they're saying uh, super protocol main goal is to create a sustainable passive income for all holders by diversifying our treasury investment into DeFi projects with various risk ratings this allows holders to maximize their potential gains with uh, while limiting their risks thus creating a sustainable daily return on investment which if you think about it is really clever because as one single person um you can you can make a profit but obviously it'll be less depending on the amount if you have if you have less amount to invest then it won't matter like if there's each person that has 100 dollars and they invest separately they're not going to get a higher return but if they combine the pool into you know if there are 10 people then they combine it to make it 1000 dollars and then when they invest and then they divide the profit it'll be more than if they do it separately and uh, when you have someone working if you are uh, in this whole DAO structure you combine everyone's knowledge and you you know widen the you know the whole arena or sphere which um when you have to kind of like take consent or you have you go for the you know majority vote you always end up choosing one of the strongest projects that ensure that it is safe uh, because that's where most people head to and uh, you maximize your profit uh, power to holders wooden power is determined by the size of your super holdings and super is used as a governance which i think is fair of course if you are holding more token if you have more investment it should give you more right if someone is investing ten dollars and there's someone who's investing one thousand dollars of course the one that is investing one thousand dollars should have more value of his votes so um, as super is used as a governance token where you can vote on the next steps to take additionally treasure yield for investment may be used to buy back super supporting the price of the protocol and this is basically how this works it says let's make something together now if you take a look at the documents if you are un unaware of how what auto staking is what auto compounding it what their auto burn mechanism is all those things they basically have details of all these things um here that for you to read uh so this explains the super treasury uh, we already have discussed from the protocol on what amount goes to the treasury and where it is used we already have talked about the auto burn mechanism two percent is uh, of every single transaction is burned we also have talked about the auto liquidity manager fixed apy um and they also have the apy calculation so there's more details that you can take a look at uh in in detail now in the roadmap these were the these are the things pre-launch so concept and idea development team creation um smart contract building and deployment on the testnet website and white paper de uh, development that is completely done kyc certificate from interfi spark like kyc in partnership development of the dashboard a solid, a solidity finance audit um so they will be probably achieving it or they already have or they have just have to update the documents a launch of the telegram and discord communities that is done i'll link those in the description pre-launch ama deal sign off with multiple launch pairs private sale 300 bnb hard cap pre-launch marketing campaign article campaigns a smart contract deployment on the main net a dashboard development promotion of discord community pre-sale uh, on pink sale and other launch pairs so they will be going for the pre-sale which i think presents an awesome opportunity for us you can get the details of their the wireless pre-sale and all those things here we also have the super token tokenomics here too it says initial supply is of 500,000. now they do explain this thing what is the power of the compound interest so if they perform the pre-sale on the pink cell in the, the launch pads and let's say hypothetically the value that they raise is 2000 bnb uh in their pre-sale so the uh with the effect of ex exponential compounding at the end of the year 365 days the market cap of uh, after uh, 365 days the market cap will be increasing from five hundred thousand uh, dollars to 10.2 billion dollars which can eventually end this project up in the top 10 list of the crypto which i think is is super amazing i mean there is a possibility if all those all those things are put together and the cards are played right and uh if their plan goes well but let's imagine even if it doesn't go even if it slightly goes uh successful which is a chance that is likely I'm, I'm believing that it'll be as possible as i think it is then you can imagine how far this project will go so there's i think no denying in that fact there moving forth uh, post launch these are their post launch um you know milestones or objectives so after the pre-sale is over of course they're going to go for the public launch it'll be on the pancake swap 
and then post launch AMA, commencement of super swap building, Twitter and YouTube marketing campaign, community giveaways, coin market cap listing, coin gecko listing, certic application, certic listing, certic KYC and audit. You have you probably can see a lot of audits and KYCs and those kind of things to ensure that the project is safe and they keep on having confidence of the investors. And then voting a period for the first investment of the DAO, uh, airdrop campaign, initiation of major partnerships, launch of super swap, AVAX bridge, FTM bridge, blockchain expo Europe. It'll, it'll be happening in September of this year in the Amsterdam. So you can see they have a lot of amazing things planned and this is, a, they also have uh, use cases and utilities linked with it, with this amazing protocol, with this amazing function. So I think that's the maximum information that I have for you guys in this video. Uh, of course, you can tell how amazing this project is and it does look very, very promising. Um, one thing for sure, it is definitely uh, far better than those uh, you know safu forks so make sure that you check this project out i'm going to give you guys all the links in the description disclaimer trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital you should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience investment objectives and seek independent financial advice if necessary it is up to you whether to invest or not